Here today we have a Belshaw Century 100 donut robot system rebuilt by Discount Bakery Equipment in Wayland, Michigan. And I'm gonna go over what we do on these machines when we rebuild them so you can see how far we actually go with these things. When they come in, we got them regardless of what works and what doesn't work. We're gonna replace everything about these things brand new, no matter what. You can see in the box here, you have 100% brand new wiring. All the new wire is pulled through all the conduit. There's no such thing here as just replacing things wire for wire. The electrical system is completely re-engineered brand new. So there's nothing OEM about this, except for the raw pieces like a thermostat, um, conveyor bushings, things like that nature. Brand new contactors, all new fuse block and fuses, signal relay, You have a completely rebuilt clutch box here, all the way back to the interior seal. So all of this entire clutch box comes apart, is replaced and rebuilt brand new. New motor bearings. In the top unit here, you have a brand new dropper motor. You have brand new relay up here, toggle switches, indicator lights throughout, new thermostats new temp indicator inside the conveyor drive box here you have a brand new motor again brand new wiring switches anything of that nature you have a brand new pump in your melter tank new plumbing as well new heater new thermostat new high limit you have a brand new pump motor here new v-belt new pulleys You have new conveyor takeout chains. You have new transfer chains. All new SO cables. These are all twist lock plugs. So everything is plug and play here. These plugs here that go to the head unit are actually labeled uh, via three and four prong plugs. So you can't mess that up. You have an accessory drive here, 220 volt. Single phase or three phase, whatever you wish. The melter tank here comes completely off with the bolts on the bracket here. Everything about this is, again, twist lock plug. So if you need to fit through a doorway, you can take this thing off with just removing four bolts. You don't need to do any wiring whatsoever. Everything is just twist locked. We'll go ahead and start it up for you guys here. Main power. Here's your contactors for the heating elements. Here is your conveyor drive on. The conveyor is completely taken apart and soaked in our acid bath. There's your dropper motor. Here's your signal. You can see your signal relay here blinking as it gets a signal. 